fellas never get left on red ever again and get my free ebook and my free audio program that's only free for limited of time and learn some groundbreaking text and advice did you know that whatever a woman has attracted to her life she's only going to be able to attract to your life but before i get into that man i'm going to show you guys the outfit of the day since we're doing the couch talk couch talk 101 that's what we're going to call it you know nothing crazy uh you know some change and shit like that little earrings my guys don't like that shit but it's cool watches white button up chino pants canvas shoes no belts no designers just pure style but um let's get back into what we was talking about so yes a woman can only attract to you what she already attracted to herself so for an example if you're dating hood rats what do you think that hood rat is going to attract to your life she's gonna attract drama she's gonna attract fights She's gonna attract all the vile and extremely unpleasant things that you may not want depending on what, who you are. See, we attract who, what we are in harmony with. So if you're attracting hood rats, more than likely you are a fucking hood rat, you know? Whether or not, you know, when you get with these hood rats later on down the road, after they done sucked all the blood and energy from you, then you start wanting to hate them and you want to change. Even if because you want to change because deep down in your soul, you love hood rats and you are a hood rat. Even if you were to get a new woman, you wouldn't be able to connect and bond with her truly because you're not in harmony with her. You're a hood rat still at heart, which is only gonna allow you to go back and deal with what you naturally deal with. Like we are magnets, we are human magnets. We are, we're gonna attract things that we don't probably even want or we know that's detrimental to ourselves. Like if you ever start to change and you wanted to you know, start making money, start eating more of a healthy a healthy diet, start going to the gym, you know, start doing uh, meditation practices and like you just start moving into a more healthier energy, you will start to see the different types of people that you attract in your life. You will start to attract people, women with wealth, women with health, women that come from a phenomenal background as opposed to attracting hood rats. See, you have to look at women as an asset or as a liability. Hood rats, more than likely, not all of them, you might find a good hood rat who's probably, you know, I'm not going to say I'm going to call them a hood rat. You know those girls who's from the hood, but they're not hood rats. You know, those are usually um, optimal for certain guys. But you have to look at women as assets or a fucking liability. And a hood rat, like I said, is more than likely going to be a liability versus a woman who comes from a good background, who has money, who's a, who's a wellly taken care of, is going to be more of an asset to your life. Now, of course, this also has something to do on your part too as a man. Like you have to make a woman an asset to your life. But a woman has to have the ability to be able to listen and take direction. Because if she doesn't have that ability and she's in her masculine and she don't listen to men and she's feminist, then it ain't no fucking point of her even being in your life but to make your fucking life a miserable, a uh, 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 hell, a drama, and a piece of shit life. Like for an example, I got girls who wake up every morning to pray for me, to magnetize the things that I want in my life. And if they are helping me, like if I see the things magnetizing, or if I see the things manifesting to my life that I have them manifesting for me, then I know that this woman is a fucking asset to my life. As long as they are in complete service to me and they're helping me build towards where I want to, where, I, where I'm trying to go, then these women are assets. Just because a woman comes in, she gives you good punani, she's funny, she's cool, she doesn't have really any real substance to her, more than likely, she's probably not an asset. Versus a woman who comes in, she cooks clean, she massages you, she makes you bath water, she prays for you, and things like that, that is an asset. She might not be funny, she might not have such a, a charismatic personality, but because she's coming in and she's helping you get to the place that you need to get, she's helping you manifest the things that you need to be met, that need to be manifested. That's the woman that's an asset. A lot of guys want pizza and then complain about not getting the benefits of broccoli. Either you get the broccoli or you get the pizza. Broccoli might not be all that good in the beginning, but as time goes on and you keep eating that broccoli, you're gonna start seeing your muscles shred up, abs and shit, versus you eating pizza all the time. It's good as hell at first, but over time you got a bloated ass stomach, you got stomach ulcers and stomach problems and shit. That's why I'm saying it's the same thing of looking at a woman as a liability or an asset. And once again, 
whatever she magnetized to her life is what she's gonna magnetize to yours. So if she's poor, more than likely she's poor because she doesn't have a strong magnetism to be able to magnetize herself out of poverty because if she did, she would. Like if you're a guy who's, you know, trying to get to a place of prominence and affluence, you should be dealing with women who are already there because if you just hear we, we're going full circle if you're using women how they're supposed to be used and you're helping women are helping you manifest if she's already there she's going to be able to she's going to 10 times help you get to the place that you need to be because she has a strong magnetism to herself versus you being out here being a dude who wants to get to a place of affluence which it can happen but but if you want to skyrocket your your, your results you dealing with a poor girl is going to be detrimental to the results that you're trying to to gain because a poor girl can only bring you poverty just like a woman who's depressed can only bring you more depression i remember i used to deal with women who was depressed and guess what guess what i started to feel like i started feeling more depressed the more i hung around them. you hang around a poor girl you're gonna get more you're gonna start seeing yourself be poor you are you are who you surround yourself with that's just how it is that's how the universe works because you guys are gonna have to be in harmony with each other if you're not in harmony with each other you, you guys cannot bond it won't work and that's why when you start to outgrow people they end up getting left behind because they still at a certain energy while you're elevated but i don't want this is not going to be one of those long ass videos man i hope you guys learned a lot from this man this is your boy zay dbe man if you don't know what to put in the comment section for wealth health happiness and abundance man because what you put out in the universe comes back to you this also helps me out and helps the channel out and let's push this word and shout out to all the players pimps hoes and simps man and the regulars Thank y'all for watching. This is ADBE, and I'm out. Deuces.